In today's video, we dive into the world of mobile GMRS radios, uncovering the top three models that are defining the landscape in 2024. We will start with a budget-friendly option that doesn't skimp on quality, then we'll explore a premium choice that sets the gold standard for what mobile GMRS radios can achieve. And for our top recommendation, we reveal a model that strikes the perfect balance between high-powered performance and affordability. All the details, including prices and links for these mobile GMRS radios, are right down in the description. So let's get started with our third pick, which is the best budget mobile GMRS radio in this list. BTEC GMRS 20V2 is worthy of attention for being a capable mobile GMRS radio that comes in at an attractive price. It also comes with a decent set of accessories in the package. These include a mounting bracket, a microphone holder, power cable for 12-volt DC outlet, and screws to complete the setup. Setting up and mounting the transceiver has a ton of flexibility. Since the buttons and display are all on the microphone, the main unit can be stashed out of sight. BTEC says the radio is IP67 dustproof and waterproof, so there's more freedom in placing it, and that's especially useful for off-roading or vehicles like tractors. BTEC has put significant effort into the manual to make installation and general use easier. It's very well written and offers clear instructions about using and mounting the radio. They've even made room for circuit diagrams and figures. This is really refreshing considering that most manuals barely cover the necessities. In value and setup, it is very similar to the Midland Micromobile MXT275 GMRS radio. Though they look at things differently and have variations in style and approach, the Midland radio comes with an antenna and offers a maximum RF output of 15 watt. On the other hand, BTEC GMRS 20V2 can do 20 watt RF output, but the antenna has to be purchased separately. It's also easier to program since it's compatible with Chirp, and the freedom to install the transceiver gets quite useful thanks to its waterproofing. Pairing the GMRS 20V2 with the right antenna can enhance its performance. BTEC also does a good job with an accessory ecosystem, so you can buy their recommended Nagoya UT27 antenna or the enhanced audio adapter kit that works with the microphone. The mic is all important here and manages to make room for a decently sized and crisp color display and the buttons. It feels comfortable to hold in your hands, but might take some time getting used to because of its size. Other notable features include the ability to transmit on narrowband and wideband, customized channel names, DTMF keypad, its repeater capable, FM radio receive, NOAA channels, and dual watch. Overall, BTEC has put together a nice offering. It is especially good for outdoor use thanks to being dustproof and waterproof. Our rating for features is 8 out of 10. Value for money, 8.5 out of 10. Signal quality, 7.5 out of 10. Ease of use, 7.5 out of 10, for an overall rating of 8 out of 10. Moving on to our second suggestion, we have the best premium mobile GMRS radio. If you want to go for the premium feel, quality, and performance, no other 50-watt GMRS radio comes close to Ocean KG 1000G+. Of course, this also means that the radio is significantly more expensive as compared to other 50-watt GMRS offerings. KG1000G Plus is the second iteration from the company in the realm of mobile GMRS transceivers, the first one being the KG1000G. The first model was derived from the company's mobile ham radio lineup. And while it performed admirably on GMRS, it was clear that it wasn't purpose-built for GMRS. It had some menu items that went nowhere, and a few buttons that would be more relevant to ham radio rather than to GMRS. So with the new model, the company focused on building a GMRS radio, giving it a better user interface and better GMRS performance. The changes between the models are fairly grounded, letting the new model settle more comfortably into the GMRS space. It does live up to some of the classic features and expectations from the brand, like the super heterodyne receiver, excellent UI, and quality construction. Additionally, it gets comfortable in its GMRS setting, with standard and even advanced options like repeater features. 
Not only is this device repeater capable, but you could also connect two KG-1000G Plus radios using display connection cables and have them function as a viable GMRS repeater. That's a pretty nice touch, especially for small operations where a dedicated repeater may not be advisable. Its package includes these connection cables, so there's no need to buy additional accessories. As you can guess, this also implies it can work as a base station. However, should you want to stay with the conventional mobile route, you'll find a good set of options. It comes with a mounting bracket for easy installation. You can also remove the faceplate and install it remotely, thus making it possible to save on installation space by keeping the transceiver out of view. An interesting touch is the presence of plates that make it possible to adjust the angle of the faceplate, or control head if you prefer. Two cables, one large and one small, are available to help with this setup. Unfortunately, there is no programming cable in the box. It has to be purchased separately. It has a large dual-frequency display that covers most of the front of the radio, but keeps room for the important buttons and knobs. An RJ45 jack is available for the microphone, and there are more buttons on the mic for easier operation and entering the channel or frequency you prefer. Thanks to its quality construction and super heterodyne receiver, it has great audio quality on TX and RX. Also, while it works splendidly as a GMRS transceiver, the receive features go the extra mile. It can receive several frequencies, including NOAA weather channels, commercial FM radio, 70 centimeter, 2 meter, and 6 meter bands, air band with AM modulation, and a lot more. Not many radios can stack up in competition to a receiver like that, including similarly priced radios like the Midland MXT500 Micro Mobile. However, Midland takes the more rugged route with IP66 rating, which means it is dustproof and water resistant to some exposure, including heavy rain. That gives you more freedom on placing the unit, but since the faceplate is not removable, that freedom could very well be an illusion. Midland deals with this issue through a different model of this series, the MXT-575. Its mic-mounted controls and display make it possible to keep the transceiver installed out of sight. However, that takes away a little of the ease of use that a large display and convenient buttons bring to the table. Midland has excellent GMRS radios, but in price to features and quality comparison, KG-1000G Plus does better in pretty much all aspects except the IP ratings. Other notable features include four transmit power levels going all the way to 50 watt, decent built-in cooling, 999 memory channels with custom display names, a backlit keypad on faceplate and microphone, four programmable buttons on the faceplate, three color choices for the LED, and several other features. Overall, Oshan KG-1000G Plus is an excellent mobile GMRS radio that's rich in features and quality. It's suitable for users who don't mind shelling the extra bucks for better performance and options. Our rating for features is 9.5 out of 10. Value for money, 8 out of 10. Audio quality, 9.5 out of 10. Ease of use, 9 out of 10. For an overall rating of 9 out of 10. Let's see now our top pick. VTEC GMRS 50V2 is a high-powered mobile GMRS radio with an attractive price tag and a good range of features. It looks decent and is easy to work with. This radio is the upgraded version of VTEC GMRS 50X1. While the body and appearance of both models remain the same, the company says they've redesigned the board and PCB to add and better manage features. These include 256 customizable channels, improved audio filtering so it sounds better, upgraded power management, and Vox hands-free support. Unfortunately, there's still no Roger Beep. Things necessary to mount and use the radio, like the mounting brackets, screws, power cables, etc., are included in the box. However, you'll need to purchase a programming cable separately. However, if you'd prefer to use it as a base station, all you would need is the right power supply. It is compatible with Chirp, enabling it to make the best use of the features and customizations. The controls and the display live on the main unit. They're large and easily accessible, plus the screen is bright and has a decent display to show information. The microphone has a keypad too, and some controls and channel selection can be handled through the mic. 
Since this is a 50-watt radio in a small plastic package, there is a limit on how much or how fruitfully the heat sink can work. That's part of the reason why B-Tech suggests using it at high power mode only sparingly. It might perhaps go longer on high power in a base station setting rather than when used as a mobile radio, but the time is going to be limited either way. Other notable features include NOAA weather channel reception, the ability to add or remove GMRS or NOAA channels from scanning, receiving commercial FM radio, and dual band scanning for VHF and UHF. Overall, BTEC GMRS 50V2 is a decent GMRS radio for those who want something that can go to a higher TX power output, and it's still affordable. It is suitable for beginners as well as more experienced users. Our ratings for features are 8 out of 10. Value for money, 9 out of 10. Audio quality, 7.5 out of 10. Ease of use, 8.5 out of 10. For an overall rating of 8 out of 10.